Hello everyone, Mason here. How are you doing? I stumbled across something the other day and realised I've made a bit of an oversight. I've kind of been binge watching people doing the booktube newbie tag. If we're being honest, my subscriptions are now growing at an alarming rate and I'm not sure when it's going to stop. I haven't done this one yet, despite the fact that I've been uploading videos for a little while now. I feel kind of rude to be honest, it's almost like I've barged my way into somebody's house and made myself at home for a few months without saying hello, so today I wanted to put that right. If you're new here, I hope this gives you an insight into who I am and entices you to stick around. Let's get to it. Number 1. Why did you start this channel? AKA, what are you doing here? I guess it's time to make some introductions. It's pretty late to be honest because I've been doing this for a few months now, but barely than never I guess. Hello, I'm Mason, I'm 27 years old, I live, if it isn't obvious, in the UK. I'm 100% completely blind, I love reading, music, long walks along the beach and sunsets. I'm just kidding, I hate the outdoors and I don't remember what sunsets look like. I really shouldn't say things like that, my mum watches these videos and even though she'll be able to tell that I'm joking I'll still get a text later like, Mason have you really forgotten what sunsets look like? No mum, don't worry, I'm just joking. The truth is I started this channel because I started watching Booktube last year. At first I was only watching the bigger channels. Elliot Brooks, Daniel Green and Murphy Napier in particular, but after consuming their content my recommendations gave me more and more booktube stuff and I realised that the world of booktube is so much wider than I thought and I started listening to more and more and more and I realised that there's a huge sense of community and I really craved to be a part of it. I was born visually impaired, but I became completely blind a little over four years ago now. I've got to be careful what I say here because I don't want to offend anyone in the blind or visually impaired community, but for me, blindness has been pretty limiting. I don't get out quite as much as I used to, I don't talk to as many people as I used to, employment opportunities in my area are pretty slim for someone like me, and in my early 20s I stopped reading because it became so hard to read physical books and I was far too stubborn to try audiobooks. In all honesty it's just taken me a few years to readjust, find my confidence again and figure out what I want to do with myself, which is something that's been helped along a lot by booktube. Listening to people talk about reading made me realise how much I missed it. I've always been the sort of person to watch reviews. I've always liked hearing other people's opinion on stuff that I enjoy, whether that be books, films, games, and watching Booktube just made me realise that I wanted to give it a go myself. And here we are, a few months down the line, and it's been both incredibly fun and rewarding. Number two, what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to Booktube? AKA, what makes you think you're interesting? I've been thinking about this one and it's actually quite hard to answer, but here's what I came up with. As you may have noticed, I don't appear on camera. I chose to go with audio only because that's how I consume Booktube. When you listen to one of my videos, you're experiencing Booktube the same way as I do and I thought that that was a nice way to do things. It also levels the playing field a little bit because it means that if there's any blind and visually impaired viewers, they're having the same experience as sighted people. Obviously, every book that I review will be an audiobook because that's the only way that I can read. I like to try and talk about the narrators as well as the story that I'm listening to. There are a lot of incredibly smart people on Booktube. We've got teachers, historians, people that have been reading their entire lives, people that are so skilled at breaking down prose, plots, themes. I am not one of those people. <laughs> I am the Booktube equivalent of walking up to someone on the street and asking them what they thought. I'm a pretty simple guy, to be honest, and I like that about myself. So if you want a normal person's point of view on books, here I am. Number three, 
what about this new channel are you most excited for? Honestly, I find everything about this channel exciting. Starting it has been one of the best decisions that I've made in ages. I've been loving getting back into reading, connecting with people, making friends, giving and receiving feedback, sharing my thoughts and hearing what other people have to say. Because I stopped reading for so long, I feel like I've been left behind and I'm excited to try some of the booktube favourites that I'm sure some people think are overhyped by now, but I had no idea even existed until I found booktube. Number 4. Why do you love reading? I love stepping into the shoes of somebody that I'm not, seeing the world through their eyes and experiencing what they experience. I love that books can paint a picture of a place that you've never visited, a place that you could never visit. I love that they can make you feel like you're friends with people that you've never met, and even though they don't exist, you still have a clear mental image of what they look like, what their voice sounds like, and what they do in any given situation. I love that there's always a new lesson to be learned, someone new to meet, a new world to visit, a new adventure to go on. I love that the possibilities are endless. That's the long answer, the short answer is, it's fun. Number 5. What book or series got you into reading? I've already talked about this in the other tags that I've made, so I'm going to keep this answer short and sweet. My favourite series of all time is Lord of the Rings. I love it, nothing comes close, it's got my favourite world, my favourite characters, and I go back to it time and time again, and I always get something different from it. Number 6. What questions would you ask to your favourite booktubers? I don't really have any questions, at least not any serious ones. I would absolutely love to know how some people in this community get through the amount of books that they do, and how they juggle so many different books at the same time whilst keeping it straight in their head, because I feel like my brain would fry if I tried that. I do try to learn from other booktubers though, I love watching them and trying to figure out what I like about them so I can take that on board for myself. I think it's fantastic that Klaus the Contradictorian is absolutely brutally honest. He has his opinions, he's not afraid to say them and he doesn't care if you agree with him or not. That's something that I really admire and I'd love to try and have that attitude myself. I love the way that people like Philip Chase, Sarah Reeds, Joanna and Petri talk about what they've read. They show so much skill in breaking it down, picking it apart, talking about the themes and the messages that they got from it. I always feel like I learn something when I watch their channels and I strive to one day be as good as them. I love the way that Billy Bonsai thinks about the philosophical nature of what he's read. He's so good at talking about a book that I have never read and probably would never read and making me interested in it. Leslie from The Nerdy Narrative always manages to make her videos feel so welcome and it always feels like she's talking directly to you. There are so many different channels out there that I love to watch. I could go on and on about it for ages, but the point is each and every one of those channels has something different to offer, a unique perspective and something to learn from. Number seven, what challenges around starting a booktube channel do you think will be the hardest to overcome? Aside from not reading anywhere near as fast as others in the community and so not being able to review as much, I think my two biggest barriers are myself and technology. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. I hate making mistakes, I hate stumbling over words, and I will record and re-record until I get what I feel is as close to a perfect take as I can. That's stupid of me, because when I listen to other people's channels, those mistakes, when someone stumbles over a word or gets completely tongue-tied, are sometimes my favourite parts, and it always makes it seem so much more natural. As far as technology goes, the way I record videos is a little bit clunky and awkward. Obviously, I can't script myself or write notes to look back on as a reference, so sometimes I will end up sitting for 5 or 10 minutes thinking about what I'm going to say in the next part of the video. 
I tend to record in short bursts because editing isn't really something that I can do. If I do a really long take and then I make a mistake, I have to go back and do the whole thing again, so I tend to keep it nice and short and then I stitch those separate parts together, or rather, my partner does it for me in post. I absolutely hate thumbnails. I don't know what other people do for them, I don't know what they look like, and I always struggle to come up with ideas for them. Because of that, I always worry about how I'm going to draw people into videos because I know that other people can create far more interesting thumbnails than I do. Number 8. When did you start reading? I read a lot as a kid, I probably really started to get into it around 7 years old. I kept that up all the way through high school in my later teenage years but stopped in my early 20s because my eyesight was getting so bad that it was hard to read physical books. I started again at the beginning of this year when I decided to get into audiobooks and I started with Mistborn because I'd heard so much about Brandon Sanderson. Number 9. Where do you read? Back when I could still see and I could read physical books, I would pretty much read anywhere. These days, I'm not that good at dividing my attention, so when I'm listening to an audiobook, I plop myself down in my armchair in my living room and that's where I stay until I'm done. Number 10. What kind of books do you like to read? One of the things I've found really surprising since starting this channel is that I'm not quite as into fantasy as I thought I was. I've always thought of myself as someone that really liked it, but since starting the channel I've found myself far more drawn towards the crime and murder mystery side of things. I just love a good detective story or a police procedural. I think it's something that I inherited from my grandmother who's always been into that sort of thing ever since I can remember. I do still like fantasy and I want to read more of it. I'm so excited for The Shadow of the Gods to come out, but I just haven't been as drawn towards that genre as I thought I was going to be when I first started this. Number 11. What does your book collection look like? Unfortunately, my book collection is my Audible library. I don't have any physical books anymore because I just don't see the point. I miss it though, I'm so jealous of all the people that get these big book hauls. That's not something that you're going to get from this channel, unfortunately. So that's it for this newbie tag. I can't believe I haven't done it till now. I feel like a right idiot. Anyway, I hope you've had a good time. If you have, say hi in the comments section and we can have a chat. That like button is just waiting to be pressed. If you're new here and you decide to subscribe and stick around, I look forward to getting to know you. I'll leave the link to my Twitter in the description if anyone's interested. Thanks so much for spending time with me today, guys. Until next time, take care. For now, I'm off, and you should have a good one.